KTV News, Vice from UK only then. I'm a, t- a chief inspector from the Greater Manchester Police, currently heading up the um, right. attraction strand for the recruitment campaign that we've got. Uh, how you how you do this recruiting for the, is our Asian communities coming forward to help the uh, police? So ultimately we're here to recruit everybody and everybody, we want everybody to join, but ultimately uh, we want obviously people from the diverse communities to come and join the police service. Right. We have quite a lot of diverse officers in the Greater Manchester Police now, 10%, over 10% of our police officers are from diverse backgrounds, but we need to recruit more officers, more diverse officers, but more officers generally, to get up to the demographic of 16%. So what is the best way and easiest way for them to, uh, you have any application form here people are uh, filling or uh, just you are giving the information? So you can go to the GMP website, type in GMP. Can you tell my viewers there about that? Yeah, so we can type in GMP jobs, uh, look at the website, all our vacancies are available on there, or we've also got a list of our recruitment events, we're at the Manchester Mega Mela here today on the 23rd and 24th, we've also got different events at the Trafford Centre the Manchester City Centre all on our website you can also come to an event give us your details or apply for the jobs on our website straight away thank you very much you're welcome. nice meeting you I hope you will have a good day here today thank you the annual Manchester Mega Mela was celebrated today at Platfield Park Manchester after a long gap of three years people of Manchester enjoyed at most the arrangement made by the management team or commendable. Donald Lutford, Lord Mayor of Manchester, officially opened the festival. Deputy Lord Mayor Yasmin Dahl, Member of Parliament Afzal Khan, Councillor Rab Nawaz Akbar, Councillor Ahmed Ali, former Lord Mayor Manchester Naimul Hassan, with former Lord Mayor Abid Chohan, Councillor Shokat Ali also participated at this opening day. Welcome to Mega Melu. I'm, I'm delighted to be here. I'm so sorry I've lost my voice. Um, I'll try really hard later but on. It's, fa- it's fantastic to see so many people here, so I want to go around and meet lots of people. Thank you very much for the invitation. She may have lost her voice. She hasn't lost her dance steps. So when she gets on the stage, you will then see her in action. Yeah. Amazing occasion when we have the Mega Mela. Since COVID, we've missed out for two years. So everyone needs to come, needs to participate. Come do some shopping, watch some entertainment, see some great talent and some great stars. So it's really, really important that everyone who has the opportunity come to Platfields Park, Manchester Mega Mela and have a great time. My name's Shelley Lanchbury and I'm the councillor for High Blakely in North Manchester. I'm absolutely amazed. There are so many people and so many things to see and do. Absolutely. Fantastic. Uh, Welcome to uh, Manchester, everybody. Uh, diversity is the bedrock of modern society. The Mela brings South Asian people together, and not only South Asian, but the other people. Over 200 languages are spoken here, and we welcome everybody to celebrate the Mela. Best platform to p- promote your heritage and your culture. Fantastic event. Congratulations to all the organizers. South Asian communities are an integral part of Manchester. They contribute so much, so it's fantastic to have this opportunity to showcase our cuisine, our dress, our tradition, and of course our music. Local singer to the stage music program for the public interest and the entertainment for fans was invited in which the large number of people present assured their presence by doing dance bhangra. Dance group singer Shweta and singer Tari Khan made the crowd happy by doing their part, they said. Because Sonia is very modest about the time we spend. Okay. But all of us are professional people right. in different industries. There's nurses, teachers, right. engineers. Okay. And we only get weekends and nights to perform or practice for this. It's very tough when you are uh, as a housewife working and coming back and doing this practice. Don't you find it's a tough who's going to answer? Uh, it is uh, yes. It is tough sometimes, but uh, there should there is a passion of dance which takes us the uh, you know which takes us to do it. Yeah. We will watch up here. Yeah, please one minute. Yeah. Uh, message is that if you are sitting home, 
You supposed to be at the Manchester Mela because we are going to rock the stage. We are here for you to entertain you guys. And my new song, O tere lak de ho lareya te mar da, O kewe kara paroch dil dar da, O tere lak de ho lareya te mar da, O kewe kara paroch dil dar da. Check it out, guys. It's a brand new song approach out by myself, Tarek Khan Legacy. And don't forget to keep watching. This channel number one. Thank you. I think um, a different song actually because those songs that I sang on the stage were all, um, you know, fast songs. So one of my favorites of Lata Ji. What a lovely song you sang, a beautiful voice, melodious, and I think you have a very nice throat as well. Thank you so, much. thank you very much for your time and your uh, this lyrics to us. Thank you. Thank you, thank you so thank much. You. Thank Hope you, you enjoyed too. Keep watching. K thank you, KTV. <laughs> My name is Emily Patel. I'm here from the Clinical Research um, Network, Greater Manchester, and we're based out over at the hospital at Manchester Royal Infirmary. Um, so, we're here with the genetics team, so with Karen, um, to promote our study, Genes and Health. So, it's for the Bangladeshi and Pakistani community to improve health care. So, within the South Asian community, there's a lot of health um, health conditions like high cholesterol, high blood pressure, diabetes, cardiovascular issues, mm -hmm. and within the South Asian community, especially high in the Pakistani Bangladeshi community. So we're here um, just speaking to potential participants about the study um, and asking if they would be happy to provide a saliva sample, so a spit sample, into right. the tube. Yeah. Okay. So. These girls is here and next to me here will ask her, you know, in, in the COVID, the many Asians were not very happy to go for the test and they were afraid to go have the, you know, the injection, what you call it, for the vaccination. So uh, what you would like to give your message to these type of people, those who you are asking for people willingly come and give your life spit sample. So what it will help you? So we've had a, a brilliant response today. We've had lots of volunteers who've come and um, uh, want to help their community because some of their families have got been affected by some very severe conditions um, heart disease but also um, COVID has been a big problem in the South Asian community and um, people have been anxious about having vaccinations but they, they also are more vulnerable and it's really really important that you get you the best health care you can while you're here. After this day how they can reach you if someone wants to come to you? You can contact um, so if you go on the Genes and Health website genetics.research at mft.nhs.uk Various subcontinent dishes were also available for sale at the food stall to introduce different cuisines and on the other hand the clothing stalls were crowded by women shopping. Many stalls counters to promote their services to the public. Workers seem to be busy in introducing their services to the public. Russian big and small thrill rides for kids and adults seems to be happy and could hear some screams of fear. Tariq Lodi, KTV News, Manchester. KTV News, voice from UK only.